and this is gonna make it. Boom! <laughs> Hello, YouTube! Komodo Gaming here, checking out Polybridge 2, and yes, folks, a new Polybridge game has released. So, yes, if you don't know what this game is, or if you've been living under a rock, it's a game where you build bridges and people plummet to their death because you're a horrible engineer. Well, at least most of us are. There actually are a lot of really talented people that play this, but today we're going to be checking this out. I played it on the channel a long time ago. Uh, you guys seem to really enjoy it. I don't necessarily know if I'm any good at it, so I guess let's just go ahead and jump in. Pretty simple concept, yet it's a really addicting game. So let's go ahead and place a road here. Boom, you think, oh, it looks like you connected it. It works, right? So you hit start simulation and oh no. Oh, and they just drove off to their death. So, obviously we need to reinforce that. Now you want to keep it under a certain budget, which I might have just ruined that with the uh, the road pieces, but eh, I don't really care. So everything is pretty much based off triangles. You want triangles on all your bridges because that's structure engineer things. And yeah. That's not gonna work. Probably wanna connect some cross beams here. There we go. So this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit start. And look at this. Oh, there's some stress points in the middle. And yay, they didn't die. Ha <laughs> ha, we win. By the way, there's like 20,000 other levels. And look at that, we're horrible. How did somebody get that done in $2,000? So if you guys wanna see some more Poly Bridge on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And uh, let's continue to play here. All right, so we have a sloped design here, so like that. I'm assuming we're gonna use the same principle, except for the triangles are gonna be a little cattywampus. Man, my budget, I'm like halfway there. I feel like I should save some money. I don't know, I don't think this is gonna hold. I feel like there's gonna be stress in the middle and... Oh, okay, yep, they fell to their death. Huh, okay, I might need to restart that one. How about we just move these up a little bit? That might give it a little bit more uh, sturdiness. There we go, look at that. That looks kind of beautiful for an amateur. All right, is it gonna hold this time? And beautiful. Yep, just needed to make the triangles just a little bit taller. Oh, wow, we have to get this big son of a gun across? Okay, so I guess we're using steel this time for the beams. I mean, in theory, we can do the same design, which might get boring to people, but you know what? I don't really care. Well, that was really expensive. Uh, let's go ahead and go boom, 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 and boom. And maybe we'll lift the middle part up a little bit. I don't know. Let's see if it holds here. All right. Oh, yes. That was beautiful. Like, I feel like we wasted money in that middle part. All right. Well, there that goes. By the way, this game does have a, uh, a workshop in it, too. So maybe we can check out some of that. All right, so we had the 14 meter overpass. Oh, there's a, yeah, there's a boat in this one. Maybe we'll start to slope up here. So we'll go boom, boom. Okay, we clear it there. We'll go boom, boom, and boom. So none of the structure supports can hit it, I don't believe. So let's go ahead and start up. Can that reach that? Does that seem, that seems a little unsafe. Oh yeah, this totally isn't gonna hold up. All right, I'm getting a little messy with this one. Oh no, we're over budget. What am I doing? Can I still run it even though it's over budget? I just wanna see how bad this is. Yep, that's pretty bad. We just killed the monster truck. All right, so I came up with a really, really cruddy design here. So I'm thinking you want steel beams to hold up the top of the bridge here. Let's see if this even holds up here. All right, monster truck. Wait, that held up way better than I, that should've. I wasted a ton of money there. I mean, we made it. Han, what's the leaderboard say? Okay, 5,000, really? Oh, those are the top 90%. I feel like we should redo that one. I mean, we proved we can complete the level, but we didn't actually master the level. Okay, so I cut about 5,000 off the budget there, and I decided not to use any steel beams. So let's see if this one works. Uh, this might be a little bit better. It's a little less embarrassing, and oh yeah, it makes it over just fine. Okay, well, we'll take that one. All right, so this is definitely one. So they must collect the resource. So they need the stars. Oh, they do. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit of a something. Got a $22,000 budget. All right, well, that, at least the top car isn't really heavy. So in theory, I can do something like this and it should hit its little point. 
Okay, and this one needs to go up high. This one's actually pretty high. Something like that. All right, so maybe we do need steel beams on this one just to connect the bottoms to have some sort of security there. And then maybe, just maybe, I could do the rest of these with wood. I don't know, we could connect the bridges like that. Actually, probably here. And then maybe here. I think that works. This might be my worst bridge design yet. Hold on, let's see if we can make this work. Uh, I feel like maybe we should add some supports, maybe there and there. And then maybe here and here. Does that even look like it remotely works? I'm gonna go with the no. Okay, it holds up a little bit. Oh, oh no, it killed everybody. Oops, my bad. All right, so if I add a beam here and a beam here, I've got a mess of beams. <laughs> On, does this work? This is probably gonna work, isn't it? Yep, that works just fine. All right, there's gotta be a point, and this is where I drive myself crazy in Polybridge. It's like, okay, we spent too much money. How do we get rid of stuff? Maybe get rid of that? Out of curiosity, would this actually hold? I don't know, I think the ends are gonna be a little fragile. Okay, okay, look at that. We eliminated a little bit off the budget. Okay, we probably still overdid it, but we're in the top 41%, so I'll take that. All right, so the next one we're doing is our first drawbridge. So we got a guy on a motorcycle, and then we have the drawbridge hydraulic thingies. All right, so drawbridge. So obviously we just can have a flat road like this. So let's go all the way across and boom. And I think we want to definitely have a still support. Maybe go in there and then maybe another one uh, here. Does that hold the bridge up? Nope, absolutely does not. All right, we might be able to get rid of one of those beams. So what we need to do, it's not a heavy vehicle whatsoever. So uh, let's try to go get away with like it being really low. So something like this. So let's go and connect that one. We'll split that joint here in just a second. Let's go boom, 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 and boom. And then we'll go like that, 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 all the way across like a normal bridge. Let's just make sure this one, oh, I don't know where that one's going. Yeah, let's make sure this thing actually just holds up. Okay, so the bridge has structure. Hold on, here comes the boat. And... <laughs> yeah, why did the motorcycle guy not take off? Huh. Oh, there he goes. He goes afterward. Oh, and he plummets to his death. So, in order to do this, we're going to split this joint here. We're going to eliminate... I'm thinking this piece here. So now the bridge is technically split in two. And then we need to add hydraulic pieces. So I'm thinking something like that and that. I think that's good. That should clear. So this should be lifting up like this. And no, I don't want you to lift down. I need to reverse that. I need you to lift up like that. Does that work? Let's see here. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I don't know if it's enough for it to clear. Uh-oh. No, it's enough to clear. It barely clears. Come on, that's got to be pretty minimal amount of budget, right? Like, I might remove a beam on the bridge itself. Make sure this looks okay. All right. Passes right over. No problem. Hey, we were under budget quite a bit on that one. What percentage are we in? Top 54. All right. So we need to win a little more here. So do we think we can get rid of this one and this one? Seems a little dangerous. Uh, okay. This might actually work. To be honest with you. All right, there it goes. All right, and all it is is a motorcycle, so in theory, it should cruise right across without dying. Don't die. Don't die, don't die. Oh, we got this. Heck yeah. All right, that was quite a bit under budget. All right, top 24% right there. Hey, I think that's our highest one yet. All right, so we have the taxi task. This one's got a checkpoint. Oh, he just, what, he turns around? Oh. I think that's what he does. I should probably pay a little bit more attention to the reading part. All right, so we're gonna build a bridge all the way across. That looks decent. So we got 21,000. Let's go ahead and do a nice beam here and a nice beam. Actually, it might be better to do those beams that far. Hold on, so let's get this beam and then, will this beam reach? Oh, this one doesn't reach. Huh. Okay, I think this is gonna be pretty easy. Okay, so we have a nice, simple bridge design. It's a little long, so maybe this piece here needs to come up just a wee bit. Check this. 
All right, so he's going to go this way. And then he's going to turn around. Is he just going to back up? Okay, and he comes back over. All right, I'm really under budget on this one. But I feel like some people probably really got away with some stuff here. Yeah, top 62%. All right, I feel like we could save a little money. Like, I saw zero stress on the bridge there. So what if we moved all of this down? And then we got rid of this and then connected it instead here. And then we can move this down and this down. All right, that's a bit more under budget. Move that that way. I really want to disconnect a beam here. Would that be a bad idea? All right, come on. Uh-oh. Okay. No, oh, okay, yep. Uh, that was not good. I actually think the weak point was on the ends. It was here and here. One more. I just want to try to come a little bit under budget here. Okay. Goes over that, and then it should have no problem going back down, right? Yeah, buddy. Boom. All right, that saved us a little bit of money. All right, so here we are. We've got... Why? Why is this a thing? So we have a fire truck, and we have the other point. So I think we're supposed to use the hot air balloons to help support the bridge. I'm assuming. So can we just go straight across like this? Okay, so that's that. Yeah, because there's no uh, pieces under here to put those nice beams. So we have rope and you have cable. I'm assuming cable is a little more expensive. How cheap can we get here? I would totally cross a bridge like this. Hold on, I just want to see how quickly it falls apart. Okay. Yep. That is janky. Wow. All right, so I think really the only thing we have to do here is just to make sure the fire truck can run across maybe this section up to here. And then we probably want to have another section here. Let's try to get really cheap on this one. You know, I think I'm looking at this wrong. Do I want to just do ropes? What does that do? Okay, so that's 6% over the budget. Are we supposed to use mostly just ropes to do this? Like, there's a chance that's a thing. How does that look? Wait, that holds way better than I thought it would. All right, so we definitely need to eliminate some stuff here. Yeah, I was kind of looking at this one wrong. So, yeah, we're way over budget right now. Can we do this purely with rope? Like, how much is this rope? Oh, this rope's expensive. Okay, do this one. Does that hold? No, nope, I didn't think it would. All right, so this one I'm definitely failing at right now because I feel like I'm going way over budget, which obviously I am. I've eliminated a couple beams. Will this still hold? Okay, all right, that looks beautiful, but never mind. It broke right when it got here, so there needs to be a cross beam here. Actually, not a rope, a cross beam. What about now? We're at 23,000. All right, I spent a little too much, but look at that. All right, it holds now. Huh, that one's got me a little stumped. I think we're going to accept... Uh, what we did there. All right, so we're ready for our next one. They didn't give us beams. Nice. All right, so in theory, you just want to go across like that. But how are we going to hold the big dozer? All right, so we're going to need to... Here, let's pull these out like this. And then we'll go connect, 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 and connect. I don't know if that's enough. We might have to do a, a top section here too, like this. All right, so I feel kind of confident about that first part, but I don't know about the rest of this bridge. Like, this is going to be a little messy and expensive. So if I build it the way I want to build it, which is like this, that is ex very, very expensive. So first, let's just see. Oh, that's way too sturdy. Yeah, that thing's holding up really, really well. Middle part holds up really well. All right, so now we got to ask ourselves. What do we eliminate here? Because going over budget obviously is easy, but huh. All right, so we're going to move those down. This held up way better than I thought it would. So maybe we'll skinny these up. All right, we still haven't knocked it to the right budget yet. So knock those down. Maybe knock this down. Knock this down. That's just within budget. It's kind of satisfying to look at too, but we need better than right here on budget. Let's make sure this holds. Okay, so, oh, oh, that is sketchy. That is sketchy, but it's going to hold. And it's within budget, but still, like, I feel like we could have done better there. All right. All right, this is not going to hold, but this saved us some money. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, yep. Okay, that collapsed. All right, we're going to go to the next level. <laughs> All right, so we're at our first jump. This is probably where we're going to end it. So we have an awesome buggy. And yeah, we just have to jump from point A to point B. Also, there's a spring. I don't know if I've ever used that before, but we're going to use it. All right, so we want like a jump. So something like, something like that. That's probably good, right? All right, so there's the jump. We got 27,000. What is a spring? I think it's for maybe the impact, potentially. I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's get a beam here. So there's that. And yeah, I'm going to have to learn what the uh, the spring's for. So we can go probably something like this. And then that goes there. Maybe the spring's supposed to be for this? No? I don't know. What? I want to see that real quick. I just want to see it in action, so let's just connect those real quick. What does that look like? What does this What does this do? All right, I, I didn't need the... Oh, no. All right, we're a little short. We weren't that short, though, surprisingly. I think the spring might be for the impact, potentially. So, here, let's do this. We need to get a landing for the thing, so something like that. We'll go up. We'll put a beam here. And then, that's a pretty big impact, by the way, so... We definitely want to make sure this thing holds up. Alright, do you think that's gonna hold? Uh, that's pretty far under budget. Alright, uh, here he goes. Whee! Uh, okay, he just missed it. Okay, we need to extend this out. Either we could expand the ramp over there, which we might should do that. So if we went out like this, and... Here, let's add one of those little springs to the end of it, just because it would look funny. All right. Oh, it's bouncing. And whee! Is that a little bit? No, I feel like we landed about in the same spot. So definitely, probably the uh, the landing ramp needs to be bigger. All right, so totally, if it's like that, it's going to make it. And we're still pretty far under budget, so I'm, I'm happy with this one. All right, that's a bit of a mess. Let's see. And... What the heck? How does it keep going short? I feel like that spring up there might be the most useless thing I've ever done. And... Whee! And this is gonna make it. Boom! <laughs> okay, we need a better support in here. I like how that just died immediately. All right, so I need to completely rethink the, the landing ramp because my design is horrible as always. So let's go ahead and move that up, that up. And then maybe this? No, we don't move that one up. Maybe something like that. So we need a really strong beam. So let's go two really strong ones there, there. Heck, maybe even in the middle here. All right, so we'll create this new little bit of a design and then we'll see where it's breaking. I have a feeling the whole thing's just gonna snap. All right, can you handle landing on that? And hey, that was about as janky as it gets. We made it. Hey, we're in the top 18% of players on that one. Ha <laughs> ha. That is a good way to end this. But anyways, if you guys want to see more of this, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, never cross a bridge that I've made, ever. Like, if I become somehow an engineer, which would never happen, don't do it.